So I've been really pleased that my video about spinners has been pretty popular and I've been really pleased they've been asking me questions about that. One question was about bearings and what makes ceramic bearings better than steel bearings. So I've done a little bit of research and steel bearings do have a higher coefficient of friction than ceramics. So ceramics just straight off the bat, they are a smoother kind of ball, all right? They're more spherical, so they have less friction of the surface. That's pretty good. Now importantly as well, when that's spinning, um, they're gonna heat up less, okay? So actually less of the energy, less of the kinetic energy of the thing spinning round is gonna go towards heat energy. Ceramics have really good thermal properties. Well, space shuttle came in through the upper atmosphere. You get incredibly high amounts of friction because the space shuttle is going so very fast. So um, ceramics have got better and better and better at dissipating heat. And that's a really important thing as well. So not only do they heat up less, but they also get rid of their own heat much more rapidly. That they also have a low coefficient of thermal expansion. If you can imagine when the bearing is spinning, we're generating all that heat, and the ball bearings inside these teeth are gonna actually expand. Now even though they're quite efficient, they are gonna, you know, whizzing around that rapidly, they are gonna heat up quite a lot. And that's gonna mean they're gonna expand, and if they expand, then there's gonna be more friction because they're gonna be like, um, you know, more of their surface is gonna be touching each side of the metal and so it's going to be a less efficient thing again and then it's going to heat up more and cause more friction and therefore a less efficient spinner. Now there is a type of bearing which has really 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 low friction and that might well be the bearing of the future or maybe we don't even need bearings in the future because that, it's like saying we're going to reinvent the wheel. So in a magnetic bearing you wouldn't have anything actually in contact between the inner and outer ring. You'd have two sets of magnets repelling each other, keeping that constant distance apart. That's a really, really very interesting idea, and you can already get some forms of magnetic bearings, but there'll be a lot more. We may not even need wheels. We may not even need to have one thing rotating around another because we may be actually magnetically levitating our vehicles. You may have heard of a maglev train. That's the idea, and it exists already. Guys, if you found this interesting, then do you know what? You're probably quite into physics, okay? If you're just playing with that spinner and you're wondering how does it work, then you're probably interested in physics. So why not check out the rest of my channel? Why not subscribe? Why not share these videos with your friends? If you're not just playing with something, you're trying to understand more of it. And that's what I'm all about here on Gorilla Physics. I really want to help people understand more so they're gaining confidence, so they enjoy physics more and then they do better in their GCSE and A-level physics exams. So welcome to Gorilla Physics, I hope you'll stick around and check some of my other content out.